Well, the train was just travelling along as normal. I was looking out of the window, but the train then started juddering, and then there was some more jolting, and then bedlam broke out. At 11 minutes past eight, a Thames commuter train collided with a Great Western high-speed train at Ladbroke Grove Junction at a combined speed of 130 miles an hour. The result was horrific. The tables were bending, there was briefcases and handbags flying around. One of the worst things was I could hear men screaming, which really is a very upsetting sound. The first carriage of the Thames train was totally destroyed on impact. The full load of diesel fuel it was carrying sent a series of intense fireballs through the first class section of the Great Western train where Pam was sitting. What I'd seen coming down the carriage, I'd just resign myself to the fact I was going to die. And then the heat, I've never felt anything like it in my life before. And I could hear my hair crisping and I could feel my skin crisping. And the smell was terrible. Um, and that's when the pain started hitting. Pam sustained horrendous burns and came close to death. Weeks in hospital intensive care and many painful operations and reconstructive skin grafts to her face followed. And one survivor came to symbolize these disasters. She was Pam Warren, the lady in the mask. Somebody has to be accountable. Somebody made a decision to allow those two trains on the same track. Pam became very much the, the iconic figure for want of a better word, um, yeah. for that group, really. I think there's definitely been improvement, and I think that uh, we had probably quite a reasonable amount of power at that time, and, and I think we achieved a, a great deal. The crash at Ladbroke Grove, just outside Paddington, exposed catastrophic failings in the rail system and prompted a major review into rail safety by Lord Cullum. But I've never referred to Labrick Grove as an accident. I don't consider it an accident, even to this day. The poor visibility of SN109, obstructed by Portobello Bridge and the overhead electrification equipment, Network Rail, who took over from Rail Track, were fined four million pounds for the health and safety mistakes made by its predecessor that led to the Ladbroke Grove crash. And Thames Trains were fined two million pounds for serious omissions in its driver training. <laughs> 